Hi, welcome to Make a Side Guide. In the last tutorial, we have created a template and we used it to create all the other pages of our website. So, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to link those pages together. So, let's just open up all our pages and let's start linking them. Now, what you're going to do is to come to your home button, information button, or whatever button you have created and just select the text like this and go down right here you can say you can see that it says link and it has a little black pointer and a folder now you can browse this this folder to find the file you want to link to but i think it's easier to drag this little pointer and just drop it on the page you want to link to so click on the little pointer and drag it to the index page because that's our home page, so we've linked the home to the index page. Now let's link information. Select information, drag the pointer, drop it on the information HTML. About, select it, take the pointer, drop it on about. Contact, select the contact, drag the pointer, drop it on contact. Now. I'm not going to do this with all the pages. You can, you've learned it right now. I don't have to show you, show you this all over again. The other thing I want to tell you is, you can see that my links didn't change. Uh, most certainly your links will be blue. So I'm just going to show you how to change the look of the links. Go to page properties, go to links, and you can see that I have set, set it how I want them to look. So my link color is a light gray color, the visited links are purple, rollover links are red. I made them red so when I show you in preview, you can see how rollover works and the active links are also a light gray color. Now underline style, you have more options here. The best option for me is to show underline only on rollover. So when someone rolls over my link, it will show a underline. Click apply and OK. So let's preview this index page and let's see if our links work. So come up to this little globe button right here and select the browser you want to preview your page in. I'll just preview it in Google Chrome and it will ask you to save the changes. You'll say yes and you can see here's our page with the links on it. Now these are purple because I have already visited them. But you can see that these are gray and when I roll over them they are underlined and red. So let's just click on information. You can see nothing's here. Go back to and I can't go back to home because I didn't link the information page back to the home page. I didn't make any links here. So that's it. That's how you link your pages together and that is how you preview them in your browser. Now make sure that after you linked all the pages together to preview the whole website in the browser and make sure they all work. The other thing you can do is to come down here on results, click on it and you can see that you've got more options here. Search, reference, validation, uh, browser, competition, Compatibility check, link checker. Now we want to use link checker. So click on link checker and click on this little green play icon and check links in current document. And you can see it says nothing, so my links all work. When you link the whole website together, choose the check links for entire current local site. It will check all your links and it will tell you if you have any broken links or something's not working. So this is it. This is how you link, this is how you preview, and this is how you check your links. And this that's that. You've created your website. So just follow all the steps from all the videos and create a website. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to make a contact form so people can email you. And if you have any requests for any tutorials, feel free to visit my website, go to contact and write me a message and I'll try to make that tutorial for you. So thank you for watching. Bye.